Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Welcome to the celebrated nightly news of, of Calaveras, Calaveras County. County. Yes, here we are on a Monday evening. It is a Monday evening. After a full weekend. So what would you do and, this weekend? Uh, Any exciting? I did do some exciting things, but I can't tell you what they were. Well, that means it was a good weekend, it right? It was a good weekend. <laughs> now, what about you? How exciting was your weekend? I can tell you about everything I did. Everything. Yeah, so wow, that's, not so exciting. Yeah, that's not so good, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I guess to start off tonight with a little bit of, uh, oh, I guess kind of bad but good news mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. There was a plane that was probably heading home from the fly-in over in there that actually clipped some power lines down by Lake Tullock. Now the plane yeah. didn't crash, which is like amazing. Yeah, yeah. anytime you could do something in a plane and hit hit an object, yeah, power, yeah, hit power and not, lines and yes. not kill yourself, I, mm -hmm. I would count it as a win. Yes, right? definitely, I, I mean, definitely. Yeah, yes, um, yes. So it. Um, and we're the official report hasn't been released on this yet. We talked mm -hmm. to um, Sergeant Sewell from the Sheriff's Department, and he was um, trying to have going to try to have the official release done today, this afternoon. And I just checked the site, and it's mm -hmm. not up it's yet. It's not up yet. But um, so I'm sure that the FAA, you know, they're talking about the contacting the pilot. He's probably going to have to pay for some of the power line mm -hmm. damage and everything mm -hmm. else. But. All in all, I still think that's a win because as long if you can hit something in a plane and still bounce off, so well, to speak, and still be around to have a suit filed against you, that's you're not, in pretty good shape, yeah, right? Actually, that's you know? not bad at all. As long as you're you're around to have, yeah, be sued. To be sued, you're <laughs> you're doing good. It's the American way. I know that sounds kind of rather bizarre, but you know everybody was saying like you know he's gonna have to answer for this and answer yeah. and like. Dude, he hit a power line, and he's still here, so let's just... But he just clipped the lines, though, right? didn't he? And it, it knocked down the power poles. Yes. Yes. So there was 127-some customers without, at oh, least to record his... Okay. So people was about power, but hey, he hit, he hit something with his plane, and he's okay, so... Not too bad. That's a win. That's a win. Yeah. It is kind it, of a win-win win win. situation. Yeah, it, Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking about this weekend, going getting over to the fly-in, because we thought that was the, mm -hmm. you know, it was and outside it, of Calaveras County, so we right. didn't go cover it. Mm -hmm. We probably should have, but... It was the 50th anniversary. We promoted it. Yes. Yes, so. we did. But it was the 50th anniversary of the Father's Day fly-in out there at uh, Columbia. It was. Airport. And um, that's the air base for Cal, Cal Fire. Fire. And uh, apparently there were a lot of people that showed up to that. It's always a well attended. It's very well yeah. attended. Absolutely. It's a well attended thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now also, in the Calaveras County side, on, on the good side of the river, <laughs> uh, you know, on the north side of the river, not the south side, you know, not the wrong... Here, since we don't have that many tracks, we don't have any tracks. Yeah, so yes. this, you know they're on the south side of the tracks. Um, <laughs> and you're bearing the brunt of that all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Um, anyway, um, there was also and a lot of the stuff this weekend had a decidedly upcountry feel. You know, because there were times, a lot of events um, upcountry, and mm -hmm. this was kind of white uh, White Pines Lake. Mm -hmm. White Pines Lake and. Uh, Arnold. Yep, Cedar Center. Cedar Center and well, White Pines isn't an Arnold then, right? White Pines Lake. White Pines it? is not Arnold, it's as not the Arnold. sign as says. As the sign will tell you. Yes. Okay. Quite Couple emphatically. Of events, since there are mm -hmm. people people watching us, like, what are they talking about? So mm -hmm. we'll try to make yes. some sense here. Okay, if you come up to Arnold mm -hmm. and you go out and you take a left hand turn there at Chevron, you go out towards the uh, White Pines Lake. That's Blagan Road. Blagan Road. And there's a little sign on the right-hand side that says White Pines mm -hmm. is not Arnold. So White Pines That's was right. actually pre predated Arnold. White Pines Arnold. was the logging community. Yeah, there was the, the, yeah. the it logging. predated Arnold, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but anyway, White Pines Lake was the center of two of the events this weekend, and the first one was on Saturday, which is a Sierra Nevada <laughs> boy, the Sierra Nevada Adventure Company's Kayak and Canoe Festival. I was the one and who you was busy tell this, I spent <laughs> this weekend, and you were the one yawning. Yes. Obviously, I was not um, busy. 
Um, anyway, you know, kayaking a, festival. It was. It was very nice. Did you nice. get out there and kayak? We did. No. I got oh, out there and took pictures. Oh, you got out there pictures. and took pictures. Yes. <laughs> so we'll go... <laughs> We went out and took pictures uh -huh. and left, which is mm -hmm. yeah. But then we looked like it looked course. like everybody else was having a good time. Oh, that's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is there. There were a lot of kayaks out there. There were, and there there's all kinds. Some. There's regular canoes, but then there's kayaks with sails. There's kayaks. With, you know what with, I've heard? I have heard that kayaking is actually picking up um, in popularity. You know how sports go in, sure. in sort of different phases, and this is actually an upswing for kayaking. Upswing for kayaking? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've so never kayaked. I haven't either. I don't like water. Um, you can kayak at White Pines. Right. Up at Alpine, Lake Alpine. Spicer. Spicer. And Wait, Sarah I Sarah never mosquito. goes because she doesn't like, like water. I don't right? like water. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> but moving, we won't go moving, there. Moving we'll right, right along. along. No, You'll you, never uh, see me out there If you wanted to kayak. see some shots from uh, White Pines for the Snack Canoe and Kayak Festival, they're on mm -hmm. site. Okay. Also, next, man, here, Sarah, you classic, better take the word. Classic art yeah. show. Oh, I'm a classic, arts, classic boy, art show. This is going to be an interesting I'm news <laughs> broadcast tonight. I'm actually very He's excited to be here, He's already yawning, and we haven't even got to board a supervisor oh, yet. Oh, so. Um, actually, they had the classic third annual classic art, uh, classic cars show, classic car and truck show in Arnold this last weekend, and there were some beautiful cars it was out very there. Very pretty. We took slides mm -hmm. of every entry. Yes. We tried. If we missed one, we're sincerely sorry, but mm -hmm. we tried to take pictures of every entry, and they're up on the site now. That's right. So it should be a real. Man, what is going on? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> okay, moving uh, right along. Actually, you can look at every single car, every car. that was entered. And um, there was, John got some nice shots There was as Panteras, well. there was mm -hmm. custom street rods, there was all kinds of stuff there. Very nice. Cobras. Ooh. Very nice then. There was even a Model T powered by a motorcycle engine. Wow. Yeah, there was. Okay. And there was the fishing derby at White Pines as well, as well as the kayaking festival. Yep. So the three, some of the three, the bigger events in the county actually well, had a yeah, Arnold-centric feel. Mm -hmm. they and then were the other the one country. was the society piece for the week. Oh. This was the angel auction. Did they let you in? Um, no. I didn't ask. I just kind oh. of, you know... Did you get pictures? I was just kind of lurking. Oh, you lurked. <laughs> I do that on the internet a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I, I lurked in person. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a good thing. That, that's, that's, that well, way that's they harder. see you and know you're there. Yeah, but it's somewhat more depressing as well. No, just kidding. It looked like it was a gorgeous event. This was held at Indian Rock Vineyards, mm -hmm. and this was a fundraiser for the Arts Council. Yes, and, and Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital Foundation. Yes, and this was the place to be seen and be seen in Calaveras County. Were all County. the whoobies who be there? Yes, all oh, the who's okay. who, and they, they rolled out the green carpet, you know, I mean, it was all landscape. It was so they, beautiful. Yeah, it was it very was nice out there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there was and a silent auction with some beautiful art items. There were a lot of people who attended, I'm sure. It was packed. Yes. It was packed. They had a huge tent. We have some pictures and stuff there. It was um, mm -hmm. just packed. It was very, very, very well attended. And okay. I, I think there were sponsorships for whole tables yes. at various Usually levels. that is what takes place. Mm -hmm. And if you just wanted to get into the event, I think it was $100 a plate. Yes. So yes, it was. <clears throat> not. So we didn't go. No. But they let you in to take pictures. They did. That and was very nice, nice of them. Yes. It was very nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just let John in, take yeah. some pictures. We won't feed him or anything. No, you know? it, we'll was, just it, let was, him it was good. <laughs> and I want to congratulate the uh, Arts Council and stuff on a well. I mean, this one. They do beautiful events. Yes. Yeah. They really do. And, and in conjunction with Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital Foundation, who is another uh, entity that does beautiful events as well. And they're doing the Passport Wine Weekend this weekend as well. Yes. Who is? Mark Twain St. Joseph's Hospital oh, Foundation. very nice. Isn't, isn't the passport the benefit for them? I think that's the Festival of Wine. Oh, sorry. 
Huh? I don't know my wines. No, me neither. No. But <laughs> let alone my wine events. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can tell we frequent a lot of those. No, this was uh, no, if also there, if there was a cheesecake event, John would be there. Uh oh, gotta turn this turn this video off here, otherwise it's going. Uh oh, oops. You hit the wrong button. All right. Um, also. On the Angels, um, it was K. This is the first catering event by the. I was trying to get the name of the company correct, but the the lady that was the uh, from Alchemy. She had just sold Alchemy, oh. and this was her for one of her first catering gigs because okay. she's going to be doing catering from mm -hmm. now on. And it was uh, looked very nice. So, it was her maiden. So look I for think, that for next year. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. if she was looking at a uh, a target demographic to to cater to. to that she pretty much hit, hit this one out hit of the park. One. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. So, the word of mouth on that one should be a pretty, pretty good one. So. Pretty good. Huh? Okay. All right. Well, on to uh, now. Now you'll start yawning. Board of Supervisors. And there's actually it's a pretty full agenda, but three things actually just jump right out. Four things actually, but one is a study session. They have actually found a general plan coordinator. They've Very been looking nice. for this person for what, eight months now? Nine yeah. months? And um, on the consent agenda, there's a resolution that actually brings in that person at the top of the salary scale. Wow. Step E. Wow. And we don't know what that uh, step E is because we were not able to find it during, I was able to find salaries it's for everybody mystery, else. It's the mystery it's step. It's the mystery step. So we'll see. And. Um, and, and we're we, not allowed to tell you who it is yet. No, we had the pleasure of meeting the new hire, mm -hmm. but uh, as we understand all the Processes. loose ends and things mm -hmm. for moving from point A to point B have not been completed yet. Exactly. Yes. So as soon as we're able to tell you what her name is, we will let you know. You, of course, you, you were divulge the one. too you much. One. You divulge too much Did information. I? Yes. It's a 50-50 split, though. Yeah, but still. Of course, you, you didn't. Prom I didn't promise not to say. Oh, great! What All his right. or her yeah, name great, is. Great, great. <laughs> See, this is me getting him in trouble. Yes. Um, okay, also, on to the next. <laughs> yes. Um, also on the board of supervisors agenda is the study session. But we were going to talk about that later, are, weren't we? So I can't talk about it now. No. Okay. All right. Go ahead. We were just going to talk about the fact that they're actually bringing up the Copperopolis benefit base and fees again, again this week. This week. And they had said it was going to be 60 days from last week. Oh, that's fast work. So they worked fast, and it's not even a minute order. And uh, it's sort of an interesting little addition to wow. the uh, agenda. That should be interesting. That should be. And also our fabulous Calaveras County Airport has grant funding coming in. There we and go. And the amount it of $800,000 for airport improvement program. So, um, so they're going to have spiffy new pavement out there, right? Spiffy new pavement, smooth new pavement. Very nice. And uh, yes. So, so now you, you can out, talk. So if you want yeah. to go out there at 2 in the morning and ride your skateboard? You can. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, it's a site. It's a, a line of sight airport. It's not yeah. an instrument airport. Okay. So you could go out at 2 in the morning because no planes are going to be coming in. Oh. See? All right. So you could. You could. Yes. Yes. Study session. The thought of me on a skateboard at two in the morning is not a. Yeah, it's not a good thought. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it could be like sort of one of those extreme skateboarding moments. Nothing I would do on, this, on it would be extreme. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what do you mean the edge is just a foot away? Yeah, yeah. I, it just it wouldn't be extreme at all. Um, also, <laughs> the study session is on the legal access issues, right? Mm-hmm. From the community development department. Yep, and this has been another um, issue, not quite as hot button as the septics, but this one's been getting a little bit of a um, uh, little bit of issues within the real estate community as well. And I hope let's hopefully tomorrow there's a, a nice, good, clean resolution to this, um, similar to what, how it happened on the septic issue. Um, so what are, what are they saying now? From okay, the they're trying department? to clean up the language of. And this is probably true for a lot of rural counties, because a lot of rural counties kind of developed a little bit haphazardly, shall we say, mm -hmm. over the years. Yes. And it's kind of like, um, you know, 
where there may be not be a deeded access or a deeded easement mm -hmm. into a parcel. So it's just, yep, that's the road I used to get down to that couple acres over there. And mm -hmm. that, and I think this is stuff where they have to clean up the language in it because one of the things from the county initially, they didn't want to issue any building permits on parcels that didn't have deeded legal access. Okay. But also I think they have to clean that up a little bit because mm -hmm. we've heard from numerous people that, for example, Highway 49 uh -huh. is not a deed to legal access, from at least what we heard. So I think, but obviously it's, people tend to use it and it's been improved. <laughs> but so I think what they have to do is go over and clean up the you language. You mean they're going to close Highway 49? It's not, that's not legally used. No, but I think they have to um, clean up the legal language on this to make sure it's, um, Makes All sense. All nice and tidy. Around. Yeah, because I think this can throw in things with uh, title insurance, uh, the big title companies that, yeah, so there's a lot of issues to this that I think they're trying to make sure they get the language cleaned up. Now, on. is that on all easements? I don't know. Or just uh, sort of through thoroughfare easements, meaning I don't know, vehicle but I, easements? The part that we heard, I, I need to look up some more, the part that we heard that was causing some issues was if a parcel was sold as buildable, but then oh, if you didn't no have the, act, the, the legal, legal access, then they wouldn't give you a building permit to do so. So in essence, you bought a worthless piece of dirt. So I think they're trying to, which nobody wants, no, <laughs> especially because no. the county wants the tax revenue and things like that from all those parcels. But and I wonder how many parcels are actually affected by this, because typically when they are, I mean, when the parcels are sold or they are actually zoned in that particular buildable zoning right. um, well, allocation, think, typically the easements, they're, they're already signed off on. Yeah, so, but not always. Because, for example, um, we were talking to a realtor the day before yesterday where mm -hmm. they had a very large parcel. I think it was 800 plus acres. Mm -hmm. And the entrance that everybody's been using for the last 50 years mm -hmm. Is technically not the legal access entrance to oh, the property. Okay. It's actually like a mile or so away in an odd, weird Location. spot where, yes, they do have deeded legal mm. access to it, but that's not the entrance that anybody's used in mm -hmm. 50 years. So I think they have to, um, yeah, anyway, yeah, should be an yeah, interesting study it'll session. It'll be interesting to find yeah. out what exactly happens with that, actually. So, and that starts at. I have my little notes here. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, 9.45. Wow, it's an early one. It's an early one. So they're, they're actually thinking they are just going to whip through Straight the into agenda. Straight into it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the reason why we're laughing is because the Copperopolis <laughs> Benefit Basin um, Road Impact Fee Schedule is scheduled right before this Community Development Agency study session. Either that or maybe they know it's not going it's to. It's actually not a study section session. It's a minute order. Discuss yeah, discussion and possible action. Oh, so it's not a study session. It's either. discussion and possible action. Okay. See, and this is one of my pet peeves. I'll uh -oh. tell you this. Uh -oh. I'm going to step away from my little news anchor. Okay, all right. Minute orders so wanna, should be used for emergencies. The immigration bill. This is your yeah, this is, Minute okay. orders should be used for emergencies. Okay. That's why they're called minute orders because you weren't able to get them on the regular agenda. Now, how long did you say this was? Uh, how long ago did this come up? You heard about it months ago, right? Um. You mean as far as getting a gym? I mean, I heard about the issue. The issue months ago. Yeah. So it's not an emergency. Right? So it shouldn't be a minute order unless this was introduced. Is it a minute order it's actually? A, yeah, regarding a minute order. Oh. Regarding minute order. Okay. Unless the minute order was introduced months ago and then they Don't know. just decided to table it. But I missed that meeting. Anyway, I'm back to my old little okay. loose anchor. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> pet peeve, pet peeve, okay? All right. <laughs> Another pet peeve is what's going on with the budget of the state and the Williamson Act. Do tell. Ooh, do, do tell. tell. Only apparently 11 counties actually have land in the Williamson Act. Calaveras County is one of those. Okay. It helps to pr protect ag land, agricultural Got land. It. And the uh, governor in his budget 
wants to cut the program. In other words, cut the reimbursement the state pays to counties who bring land into Williamson Act under the auspices of the Williamson Act to lower the tax of oh, okay. uh, the ag land. Okay. okay. Now, whatever monies they do not receive, the local governments they actually are backfilled through the state government. Huh. And he wants to cut that. It'll save about thirty-nine million, which in a budget of billions, it's not really that, it's much, not really that much. But apparently, his office has said that he it's definitely on the table. Usually this comes up in these governor's budgets, it doesn't matter if it's Schwarzenegger or right. Ray Davis, and um, usually it's gone by about now, actually, during the budget process, and it's not. So it's stuck around longer. It's stuck then. around longer, hmm. and, and it looks like he's pretty dedicated, actually, hmm. to stopping those funds. So that will definitely have an impact here in Calaveras County. Uh, there's going to be... Um, a couple more study, um, planning mm -hmm. study sessions next week, mm -hmm. uh, Valley Springs and also Jenny Lind. Okay. And these should be, um, you know, the Arnold one that we attended last week wasn't, I mean, it, it was well attended, but relatively mm -hmm. so, probably 40 yeah, or so. But the one, um, but I think some of the areas like um, Railroad Flat, Railroad had Flat had was really well attended, and the Valley Springs one will probably be packed. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it just probably mm -hmm. will be. That'll probably be the epicenter of uh, some of these battles, because mm -hmm. they seem to be really polarized and informed and everything yes. else down there. So yes. it should be an interesting one. Okay. Well, we have a couple little articles that came up. One is coping with snakes, different things There's like that. There's a lot that. of snakes out there. The shirts like are so Ken hot. churches, and we also mm -hmm. just got a release um, release from a man whose son was bitten by a snake in the last couple of days, which yes. we'll be posting and. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope his son recovers well and everything mm -hmm. else, and it's, um, um, Apparently, the rattlers get hyperactive when it gets too hot. Has the opposite effect on me. You get slothy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Should we go to the weather? Should we go to the weather? Sure. Let's go to the weather. All right, let's go to the weather. Murphy's Creek, though. Murphy's Creek has a new thing, has a new... Theater uh, opens up. Yeah, but they're also have another, uh, their opera. They're going to have a night of opera. Really? Yes, yeah, a little bit of high, bro. Ooh. All right. And we're both on weather, we're so both we on can't weather. even tell you when that is. Okay, Arnold. Tonight, low of 61, high of 86, low of 58, high of 87 on Wednesday, and a high of 88 on Thursday. And Friday, a high of 87, so it looks like we're going to be high 80s, low 90s. going to uh, be a nice weekend. Yep. A little toasty. Murphy's uh, tonight, low of 63 degrees. Tuesday, high of 90 degrees. Tuesday night, low of 59 degrees. And Wednesday, sunny all day, 88 degrees. Thursday, 89 degrees. And let's look to Friday, up to 90. Mostly 90. sunny. Now, if it's a bit warm for you in Murphy's, head on up to Hill to Bear Valley. Mm -hmm. Bear Valley, a low of 51 tonight, a high of 76 tomorrow, 77 on Wednesday, 79 on Thursday, and 77 on Friday. So that's just perfect. Mid to, mid to high 70s. And it's beautiful up there this it time is. of year. It, it really is. is. And down in Angel's Camp, tonight, low of 64 degrees, Tuesday, high of 90 degrees. Wow. Wednesday, 87 degrees, and Thursday, 88 degrees. Friday, 89 degrees. So it's almost up there in the 90 degree mark. Low 90s? Mm -hmm. Okay. Valley Springs. It says today, 99 and clear was the high today. Wow. That's almost up in the triple digits. I know. 95, uh, um, 91 high for tomorrow, 91 on Wednesday, and 93 on Thursday. So a bit warmer. A bit Down warmer. there. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go to Bangor, Maine. I better go to Bangor, Maine. Better go to Bangor, Maine. <laughs> <laughs> We're still waiting for the lobster. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Bangor, Maine weather. Uh, 81 degrees with a 47 low. 79 tomorrow. 55 low. Uh, looks like we're going to get some... Uh, oh, thunderstorms. Thunderstorms hey. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, for Bangor, Maine, high of 74, 54, and 78 and 56 on Thursday. Okay. 
So pretty similar to yeah. us, except the thunderstorm. Not bad, yeah. So okay. if you just um, so if you're out setting the lobster pots, you don't really want anything. You want to keep all your that's your all, all, all your booms and stuff and yes. low <laughs> low on Wednesday. You don't want to get a lightning strike when you're trying no, to set the pots, no, right? No, yeah. definitely not. <laughs> 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 and anyway, that's it for us tonight. Yeah. And uh, thank you for joining us here on Monday evening. We hope to see you again tomorrow on Tuesday with all yes. our little stuff. We will. Thank yeah. you very much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And we do. And we've got all kinds of fun stuff planned the next few weeks. You're going to see.